you're getting from one place to another, half the turns that you're going to do are going to be right turns. And the thing is, with a right turn, they're physically more difficult. They require more steering to get from point A to point B. A left turn is a loose, easy arc. A right turn is often more of a 90 degree angle and a little bit sharper, so physically more demanding. But in terms of oncoming traffic and responsibilities and who should yield to you, with the right turn, oftentimes you're in the good. And we'll explain when you are and when you're not. So in this case here, you come up, if you have a stop sign and you're doing a right turn, I need eight seconds of space to my left for me to be able to do a right turn when these cars do not have a stop sign and they're going 50 kilometers an hour. The reason being, when I finish this right turn, it takes me four seconds to get up to speed and I still want those vehicles four seconds behind me when I finish. So when I look to my left, they should be eight seconds away. One of the biggest things that people have in terms of difficulty as a driver is judging spaces and should I go, should I wait? If you choose to wait because you think they're too tight, count in your head. And if it took six seconds, great job. They were so close, you should not have gone. But if you look and you count in your head and you count to 12, then you definitely should have gone. And again, if you had eight seconds, you should be able to do that right turn safely. Now, with right turns, there's a specific rule. You must do your right turns within one meter from the curb. So if I come up and I'm doing a right turn, I have to be within one meter of the curb. That's a lot of space that I'm allowed to use going through that right turn from start to finish. And just realize it's not a benefit to start your turn from really tight. If I come up and I'm doing a right turn, and I start my turn from really close to the curb, then I have to go straighter longer to make sure that my back end doesn't hit the curb. So when you drive up in a situation and you're doing a right turn like this, try to be centered in your lane about a meter away from the curb rather than being glued to the curb or else you'll have to go straighter longer which will put you wide towards the end of your turn. So that's leaving the stop sign, right turns, you're always going to look left, center, right, left again, then you can go do your maneuver. I have a big question for you here though. If you're this car and you're doing a right turn, they have a stop sign, you don't. Does any car have the right of way over you? And the answer is no. If you're doing a right turn and you don't have a stop sign, no car has the right of way over you. They should not leave your stop sign to be a factor. They should not turn left in front of you. And no matter what they do, they should not be in your path, but they have a stop sign as well. If this was a lighted intersection and you had a green light, you have the right of way over every car. Same thing, they have a red light, they have a red light, and this oncoming left turner at a green light should yield to you. Right turner has the right of way over all oncoming cars and all other cars when they have a green light or no stop sign. Of course, at any time you'd have to yield to an emergency vehicle if one was present. Now, what is the one thing that you might have to yield to when doing a right turn? That is a pedestrian at the end of your turn. So if there's a pedestrian in this vicinity right here that wants to cross, even though you don't have a stop sign, this stop sign protects them and allows them to cross freely. So you would yield to a pedestrian in that circumstance. The other thing would be, if you're at a lighted intersection, when you have a green light, oftentimes pedestrians have a walk sign. So always be prepared to yield to pedestrians at the end of your turn. One more thing with that, when you're stopped at an intersection, a very common mistake for people to make with right turns is they'll stop before the sidewalk if there was one and say if they stop before the sidewalk and then to creep maybe there's shrubbery or a fence that they can't see very well. If you creep too far straight ahead, you're already wide from the curb. Make sure that you creep, that you are within a meter from the curb all the way through your turn. So as it arcs, you're arcing as well. And those are some of the main principles with doing right turns in the city of Winnipeg.